Hey, good morning, my little insomniacs. <laughs> it's 3.15 Central Standard Time here where I'm at, and I am um, psyched because they're doing the 2024 Giving Challenge with uh, in the Florida area for a lot of the local nonprofit organizations, and one of my favorite dog rescue organizations is involved. I'm going to be streaming some stuff that's pre-recorded. I'm going to be live. I'm going to be chatting. Oh, uh, what else? I hope that you guys come in and chat with me and help share the link. I'm going to put it in the, uh, I'll put the link in the chat again, but I do have it pinned up at the top also over here to the right. So let's get started with our first part of the stream. Just so I can introduce this to you guys and you can see what this is all about. Let me find it. Hi everyone, it's Carrie and I'm doing something a little different uh, and it's a special thing that I want to put together for Canine Castaways who's running a massive fundraiser for their organization. This is like one of the biggest things they do throughout the year. It's called the Giving Challenge 2024 and an organization has set up this wonderful platform to where smaller nonprofits can gain exposure and have their donations matched once a year. Uh, and actually, they might do it more than once a year, but this is the biggest one I know for canine castaways. Today only, April the 9th through April the 10th, which is Wednesday. So if you're watching this, it's probably Wednesday already. And noon, and up until noon, anything up to $100 is matched by another organization. And so a $50 donation automatically becomes a hundred. I, I did learn earlier today that the minimum you can donate is $25. If you are not able to donate, that's okay. I just, my biggest thing right now is to get this word out. I don't think you guys know the power that you have in just hitting the share button on your Instagram, on your Facebook. Uh, uh, if you're in another, if you're in like a, a discord group somewhere where you guys do a lot of chatting. I know that sometimes this is off topic, but that's okay because it's for a good cause and it's, it's, it's a selfless cause. It's for the dogs who can't speak for themselves. And I can't tell you guys how passionate I am about this. I've worked with this organization for years. I know that this woman's heart that runs it is 100% pure and it's all about the dogs and saving dogs. I wish I had her stamina for what she does with these animals. Her sister is even a vet and um, they have started a program to help with medical bills for those who can't, for adopters and kind of, I think I, I'm not 100% certain how their thing works, but it's like they're offsetting medical costs or helping to do treatments and stuff for, for, the dogs of adopters, previous canine castaway adopters, adoptables is what it is basically. But I thought what I'll do right now is on this live stream, I'm going to try to go through and just show you their, their website pages, uh, what, what they're promoting because not only are they matching donations, but for the promotions that they're doing that, you know, all the work that they do between noon on Tuesday and noon on Wednesday, the more exposure they get, and the more traffic to the to this site, they get additional, they win prizes for being like the biggest promoter of the event or whatever. So I, I, bear with me. I'm trying to get, I want to tell you why I'm here, but I also want to show you the dogs. So in just a second, we're going to look, go look at all the adoptables on and I'm going to pull up their website and I'll show you guys. Um, dogs through here and I, it was through a foster failure that I adopted them. Some weren't planning on being mine. They were just, I fostered them and they had medical issues and one thing led to another, you know, and I ended up keeping them. So I had to stop doing rescue because I did not know how to say no to the dogs. <laughs> I had too many dogs. And so um, I pulled myself away from rescue, but I, I, I try to do things in different ways to help. And I've done, golf tournament fundraisers. I'll do little side fundraisers. And um, this, I thought today, this is the largest voice I've ever had for this organization. It's my channel here on YouTube. And you may not be from around my area. You may not be from around Florida. 
that doesn't matter. Your voice still matters. And uh, just being able to get the word out and, you know, I have a couple of people that said I'm making a donation on behalf of my animal or on behalf of an animal that I had, I had that was rescued. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that I have this organization that I've vetted. I know they're good. I know they're not giving all their money into one person's pocket because they're shady. It's not like that at all. This is a hard working group. Now, some of the stuff they're doing today, they done to do tomorrow. It's crazy. It's like, it's, it's stuff that you're like, what does this have to do with saving dogs? It doesn't. They're just trying to get exposure and keep people on their Facebook page and keep people watching and just, you know, following and spreading the word. So let's get to some of the other stuff so I can show you guys the dogs because, oh, that's the best part. The name of the organization is Canine Castaways, Inc. And they're based out of Arcadia, Florida, which is just below Orlando, Florida. And... I thought, let's go and look at some of their little guys. So uh, I'll do that. And then I'm going to go, if you have, like, I'll tell you about how they do their adoption procedure. If you're not familiar with dog rescue, if you've ever wanted to bring a pet into your home and you are asking, you know, like I'm, I'm kind of thinking about adopting a dog. I've never adopted from a rescue. I'm a little eh, about it. Just call, just obviously call me, just uh, send me an email. My email is always in my description link of my videos and I'll be glad to, you know, answer any questions you might have. Again, I've been through the process of adopting a dog. I fostered for this for this organization. I ran, I transported dogs for them. I um, I would I was helped pull dogs from uh, Manatee County, Florida, where they a lot of dogs would come in that were needing to be pulled before euthanasia. Um, so I'm, I'm familiar with the process. I did a lot of home visits, and so here, let's look at this. Go to the adoptable babies. Oh, so they they take you to Pet Finder. So if you're not familiar with Pet Finder, Pet Finder is like this the largest searching thing for to find a, a rescue animal. This is crazy. I don't want to do any of that. I just want dogs. Oh, here we go. All right, so this is Oscar. He's so freaking cute. Let's open this up. It's hard to kind of get this going. Oh my gosh, look at this little guy, you guys. That's part of their carnival promotion. What a cute look. You know who he reminds me of? Y'all remember the movie Benji? Oh, he's so cute. Giving challenge. Yeah, this is all part of the giving challenge today. All right, so we're going to read about Oscar. Let's see what we got here. <clears throat> Excuse me while I clear my throat. <clears> throat> apologize. Okay, he's a Maltese and miniature poodle mix. He is up to date on all vaccines. And you guys, any dogs you get from a rescue organization would be up to date with vaccines, spayed and neutered. Okay, so it looks like he might have his adoption fee is three hundred dollars, which is about right. If you by the time you get through with spade, neuter, all that good stuff, and you don't know some of these dogs have, have gone through a lot of uh, medical before they've been uh, ready for adoption. So, whereas you might not three hundred dollars may not cover that cost, but at three hundred dollars every dog some flows over and it helps offset and stuff like that so okay um this, this is not a profit organization this is a non-profit if a pet is listed as unavailable let's see he's uh his color is white tan he's a year <clears throat> he was a year old as of april the tw 2024 so as of today he's only six pounds okay he doesn't have anything up there yet. It looks like, it looks like he, I don't know why they don't have anything on the site for him yet. Sometimes what happens is they're so new to the organization that they haven't been able to update the site yet on what's going on with that dog. And he might still be in, um, like vet. <clears throat> he might still be, <clears throat> he might still be like in vet 
process um, and not not ready for adoption yet. It says the following has been done for this dog. Basic exam by a veterinarian, spay and, or neutered, heartworm tested, placed on heartworm preventative, basic blood work, urinalysis, microchipped, intestinal parasite exam and medication, vaccines, and placed on flea preventative. Okay, that's the other thing too. If you ever owned a dog, I don't know if you guys are familiar with how much you could spend on flea preventative and micro um, heartworm preventative, but that $300 also covers the cost for you to get a pack of uh, six month supply that comes in with them. So let's see. Look at these pictures, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, those are, these are happy tails. These are previous adoptable dogs. Okay. Let's move on to the next dog here because I don't want to get too sidetracked. <laughs> Squirrel. Okay. Anna. Let's look at Anna. Uh oh. Share screen. She is a rat terrier mix. She's so pretty. She might have some Chihuahua in her. It's kind of funny. The Chihuahua and rat terriers, they kind of, they kind of do look alike a little bit. So let's see what it says about her. She's eight and a half pounds. She's five years old uh, as of January, 2024. She's female, obviously. Yep, she must be a newbie because they don't have a lot on her yet. Okay, let's go over here to the next one. Maybe if I stay on this stream, it'll help me. Yeah, this is much better, right? Linguini. Oh, my gosh, the names they come up with. I love it. Look at that face. Oh, my word. Look at that face. These, you know, and the volunteers that they have, it's amazing what they do with some of these photographs and stuff. Ah, it's just wonderful. So she's a Yorkshire Terrier, or he. Well, I'll tell you, it's a male. It's a he. And a Shih Tzu mix. And they think you might have more than just Shih Tzu and a Yorkie in him. But his date of birth was December 16th of 2019. He weighs 7.6 pounds. <laughs> He's so cute. Let's go to the next pet. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that one's Scoot. There's Scooter. Look at that face. He looks like he might be a little bit older. Look at the baby. Oh, you guys, he's a special needs. Oh, my heart. Okay, hang on. That Do you know why they call him Scooter now? Oh my gosh. I had one I fostered for them called, we called him Tripod because he only had three legs. Okay, let's see. It says he's two years old as of January 2024. He weighs 11 pounds and he's a Schnauzer Dachshund mix. Okay, so here's what the foster family says about Scooter. Scooter came to us after came to us after being hit by a car. That's what happened. Unfortunately, one leg had to be amputated and the other doesn't work. He does great in his big drag bag or wheelchair and is super sweet and is food motivated he can be bossy with certain dogs so he would he would do fine as an only dog or with another dog that is a good match due to his injuries we will consider someone that lives close to arcadia and he could be forever foster meaning that he could come to our vet for all needs and the vet care would be paid for by the rescue for the rest of his life guys you see what this organization does Oh my gosh, I love y'all. Kim, this is what I wanted to do. This is this is my dream. Okay, he can also be adopted out if someone lives further away or would prefer to do a direct adoption. He doesn't have any other health issues other than the paralyzation in his back end. He needs to find a person or family to call his own. He is currently at the shelter waiting for a foster home or forever home and would love to meet you. Now, it says that he's at the shelter foster home. That could be, that might not be updated because I'll tell you what happens. He's, so every week they go to an adoption event. And sometimes at the adoption event, a foster will take a dog uh, back to their home and stuff happens before the, another volunteer has time to get in here and update the website. So don't ever get frustrated with these organizations, guys. They're all volunteer based. They're, they're out doing events. They're out working with the dogs. They're out doing home visits, meeting and greeting and trying to have a life themselves. And they're just they're doing the best they can. 
All right, let's see. At this time, we will only be able to process applications that have an excellent current vet, vet history. If you have, let's see, if you haven't had a pet or verifiable vet history, we will not be able to process your application. If you are interested in adopting, please complete our adoption application by copying and pasting the following link into your web browser. And it says, which you guys, you can go on to uh, their website at caninecastaways.org to find this information. His adoption fee is $300, but they're saying again, due to his injury, we will consider someone that lives in our, close to Arcadia and he could be their forever foster, meaning that you're going to take the dog in to basically live as your own dog, but we're going to call him your foster dog and all your vet costs all, or all of your vet stuff will be handled through our veterinarian in Arcadia, which is Kim's sister. <laughs> all right, let's see. Let's go on to the next one. So you go, Scooter. You go, boy. Look at that face. All right, let's go to the next pet. Winky. Oh, look at those eyes. Winky. <clears throat> Got to have some Pomeranian or something in him. Pomeranian. I started to say pomegranate. Pomeranian. He's a Oh, a Papillon mix. Okay. That makes sense. It's a female. She's good in a home with other dogs. And let's see what they say about her. She's 10.8 pounds. She's about a year old as of March of 2024. Papillon mix. Papillon. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It says notes from the foster family. Local adoption op adoptions are given first priority and some out of town areas will not be able to be processed. And guys, that's because we don't sh ship dogs. Rescues don't ship dogs. They will find a way to transport them. And there are some great trucking companies that help with that. But it's 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 really it's a process to get dogs transported, um, especially if you're talking about one dog, you know, one random dog. So. You know, and, and sometimes if you're willing to drive to come get the dog, that's a possibility too. It says at this time we will only be taking the applications that have an excellent current vet history. So I don't know if that's their new procedure because they weren't doing that when I was fostering. We would just do a home visit, but they're asking for, and there's a reason why they do this because you you wouldn't believe what they they come across and see with some animals guys you just wouldn't believe it oh my gosh look look at wally now wally was on one of the videos earlier today oh look at that face you guys my goodness hello wally <laughs> he's so cute oh what is he He's a border terrier mix, I looks like. Uh, he's friendly, playful, smart, curious, and athletic. So he's going to need a home. He's got a lot of energy, probably. He's going to need a home that's going to be able to work with that energy. Uh, let's see. He's estimated at a year old of March of 2024. He's 13.1 pounds. And again... Some of these dogs, guys, they don't have all the notes updated on them. But we've got video of him from earlier today, so we'll go back to that. <clears throat> I apologize. I keep my voice is my voice is messed up today. I coughed earlier, and I swallowed some water wrong, and then I started coughing. Oh, it's awful. Okay, Gusta. You know what that reminds me of? Gusta. Is that from? I lost my spot. Is Gusta, is that from Wonk, Willy and the Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? Look at that face. Okay, so he's a small, well, small male Shih Tzu. He's estimated to be at five years old and he weighs 10.4 pounds. 
He says, hi there. I'm Gusta. I'm a bit of a wallflower, preferring to observe from the sidelines before jumping into the fray. Independence is my game, though I do enjoy the company of my fellow companion canine companions. We have a blast together, exploring our surroundings and engaging in friendly play. I may be a little shy, but once I warm up to you, you'll see my loyal and loving side. I'm the perfect companion for someone who understands my need for personal space, yet appreciates my love for other dogs. Adopting me means gaining a friend who will respect your space, cherish your companionship, and bring joy to your life and my playful antics with other dogs. Aww. Gusta. How you doing? All right, let's get to the next one. There's a lot of them, y'all. We got a lot of dogs. Is that Margaret? Does that say... Oh, no, Margarita. I was like, y'all named the dog Margaret. It's Margarita. She looks like she might have some mini greyhound. She's also, uh, she's also had puppies before. Look at that sweet face. Mm -mm -mm. All right. She's a Chihuahua mix. She's 18 months old as of March of 2024. So she's a baby, y'all. And she's 10 pounds. So she's one of those chihuahuas that's a tall. And and y'all wouldn't believe how many chihuahuas that don't look like that little perfect chihuahua that come back to rescue. It, it amazes me. And they're just the most fun dogs to have. They're, they're just loving, playful, loyal. And they just want to be next to their person. It says, hi, I'm Margarita, a young, sweet soul with a zest for life. I'm always eager to play and explore. I love to satisfy my curiosity by sniffing out my scents and chasing other squeaky toys. I'm friendly, too, always ready to make new friends, whether they walk on two legs or four. Despite my playful nature, I'm also independent. I don't mind spending some time alone, but I'm loyal to those I love. I'm a mom, and my nurturing side shines through. I take care of my own, but I'm ready to extend my love to a new friend. Adopt me and you'll gain a friend who's always ready for an adventure, who will stand by your side and who will love you unconditionally. I think if I remember seeing some pictures on their website or on their Facebook page, this may have been one of the ones that came in that was pregnant when she came in. That happens a lot in rescue. I thought I saw a picture of her nurse and babies. Oh, look at little Darla. Darla. Did it again. Dad blast it. There it is. Darla. Hello, pretty girl. Oh, look at her little body. Isn't she cute? My word. Look at that face. Let's see. It says that she's three years old and she's nine pounds. <clears throat> no notes on her yet. Isn't she sweet? Look at that baby. Let's go to the next one. Oh, look at this face. Ah, oh, he's got an underbite. I love the underbites. His name is Kona. Now, I don't know what it is about. It's a he they show him as a miniature schnauzer. I can just look at him and tell he's high energy because he's not even sitting down for his picture. Look at that little bug. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, what do they say about Kona? He's a sch Schnauzer Terrier mix. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a she. I apologize, Miss Thang. It's Miss Kona is a, a she. Two years old as of January 2024, and she's 13 pounds. Oh, she's precious. All right, let's see. The next one is, oh, look at that face. Look at that face. Now, you can tell his hair is a little, looks a little wiry around his face. Look at that. He's in a football helmet. All right, let me see what it says. This is punky, you guys. Punky is a male Chihuahua Terrier mix. 
He was born on September of 2023, September 3rd. And he's 5.4 pounds. That was dated. His He was last weight. His weight was shown in February. So he might be a little bit bigger than that now. He looks like he's going to be a tall one. Oh, my goodness. My heart. I don't know, too. I want to say one thing, you guys. When you when you adopt a rescue dog, there's a bonding process that happens with many rescue or dogs because if especially if they've been through something in their past and it's like did you ever see the movie waiting to exhale and how the women talk about waiting to when you get the right guy and you exhale that dog when they get the right home they accept they exhale and it's just they almost become a new dog and sometimes even in rescue if they haven't been in rescue long enough and settled in with a foster family we don't see the full dog until they get somewhere where they 100 percent trust and then they become um just i can't tell you guys how don't think because a dog has been through a bad situation that they're ruined for life they're not because it's almost sometimes as if they appreciate the good life even more dogs aren't dumb this is remy and he cute and their little their little studio where they get these pictures done is precious isn't it okay so remy is a rat terrier and smooth fox terrier fox terrier mix and he's three years old as of january 2024 and he weighs 17 pounds okay mr remy Little, got, a little, got a little weight on him. He's a bigger guy. Okay, so it says that he's a very sweet boy who loves to be loved. He likes cuddles, scratches, belly rubs, and anything that involves being touched by my humans. Remy is especially good with men. In fact, he prefers his foster dad over his foster mom. Oh, he's a daddy's boy. Remy would prefer to be inside. The outside is just okay to him. Remy gets along well with his small and medium-sized foster brothers. And if a loving couch potato is what you're looking for, then Remy is your guy. Okay, so Remy might be a fat boy in his, early, in his late life. <laughs> uh, but you know what? If you're a couch potato, that's, <laughs> this might be the dog for you. That's awesome. Now, look, I'm not saying that you guys are going to go out and adopt a dog tomorrow. I'm just trying to get these little guys exposure. I'm trying to get the organization exposure. And uh, again, if you don't mind sharing this, I would really appreciate you. Let's see who's next. Oh, that looks like a puppy. It's got a puppy face. This is Buffett. Buffett. Oh, I bet this one was named after Jimmy Buffett. Because y'all know Jimmy Buffett died not too long ago. Look at that. Yep, yeah, it's a puppy. Look at the face. Okay, he's a Chihuahua mix. Yeah, he's a puppy because his adoption fee is a hundred dollars more. A lot more involved with puppies, you guys. Let's see. It says, I bet he's getting a lot of apps. He's already eleven pounds as a puppy, so he's going to be a little bit of a bigger dog, a medium to small to medium Chihuahua. I would say a medium sized Chihuahua or a larger sized Chihuahua. He was born in September of twenty twenty three. And he's a sweet, cuddly boy once he gets to know you. He's nervous around new people and situations at first. He loves to play with his foster siblings, get belly rubs, and treats. Buffett does very well in a crate at night and wakes, up, and wakes you when it's time to potty and start the day. He will need some leash training and patience in the beginning, but he will be a loyal companion in time, and he wants nothing more to be by your side. Buffett, you little monkey. Look at that. That was a younger picture of him. So this looks like a more up-to-date picture. Yeah, so you're talking about a little growing boy here. So he's, look at, he's playful with other dogs. That's a good sign. Oh my goodness. We got a Border Collie mix. This is Carlin. Look at Carlin. Oh, look at it <laughs> before the haircut. I kind of like it with longer hair. 
But this um, rescue organization is out of Florida where it gets really hot. So sometimes they keep the dogs trimmed really well. And sometimes when the dogs come in, they're just, they just need a good haircut to start out their, their new life. So let's see. Carlin is, he was born October 22 of two, and he's 13.5 pounds. He's a very loving pup. He does extremely well with women, but he's a little skittish around men. He can become very jumpy if a man raises his voice and may start to bark and run away. With the right training, he will do well. He has not been evaluated around children yet. Uh, they think he, he will be fine, though, but it's something that would have to be checked on before it being adopted. He plays well with other dogs and might even be happier in a two-dog home, especially if the if the other pet likes to play. Guys, a lot of times these younger dogs, uh, they need a companion to be with. Otherwise, they're going to get in trouble at your house when you're not home. Uh, you know, like the toilet paper roll might be strewn all over the house. Puppies are inquisitive when you're gone. Uh, there's just no telling. You might not be uh, the type of home that's ready for a puppy either. Just because you want one don't mean you could have one or you should have one. It says that um, he has shown, he has not shown any aggression, aggressive behavior. I apologize. Let me restate that. He has not shown any aggressive behavior, but he is a puppy and he will do a quick door dash if you're not paying attention. Okay, so that's huge. So I would say right now they would not adopt him out to anyone who has children because children are always running in and out of the house and leaving the door open and whatnot and the dog could easily get out. So they're going to be really cautious with who they let this dog out with, uh, adopted to. He does travel in a car very well. He walks well on a leash and only needs a little training or on pulling. He knows sit down and come, but mostly when it comes to food. <laughs> so he's very, he's very treat training positive. We believe he has the talent to be well-trained as each day he shows progression or he shows progress. He loves toys and treats. At night, if you give him a bone, he will lay right beside you on the couch, giving you those warm eyes and many kisses. He does great sleeping in his bed for a full eight hours. Carlin would make a great pal. He needs a regular grooming. So that's another thing to consider when you're adopting a dog, guys. That's an additional expense. Some dogs need to be groomed regularly. It says, you can see his before picture with his long hair when he came in. He needed a fresh start and was trimmed down to allow the hair to grow back, back properly. So, I don't know what a grooming costs these days. $30 to $50? It just depends on the dog, I guess. All right, let's go on to the next one. So yeah, that's why I like, that's why I, as much as I love little fluffy dogs, I really don't have the money to, to have a dog groomed all the time. I know my sister, she's got a Yorkie mix and a, a Schnauzer mix. I swear, I think they go to the groomer because I'm the one that has to take them. I'm the au pair. I have to take them, I want to say every six weeks, but my sister... Just so you know, she's a little neurotic, so that's probably why. It's not, it's not, they don't always have to have that much of a grooming. Chad. Oh, Chad. <laughs> Some of these names crack me up so bad. So he's definitely been with them since Halloween, obviously, because of this picture. Look at that face. Look at Chad. He's a Chihuahua mix for sure. Let's see, what has he got? It doesn't say. Oh, and he, he is house trained. They'll tell you too. They'll tell you if a dog's not house trained. Because, you know, if they don't and that dog gets in your house and makes a potty, then um, they'll just get the dog right back and they'll get, they know that. So they're not going to lie to you about that. Another thing too, guys, um, I will say this. If you ever bring a new dog into your home, make sure they go potty outside before you bring them into your home. And you don't know their situation and they may not know how to tell you it's time to go out. So when you get a new animal in your house like that, like every hour I would take them outside. And then, so you like, maybe you want to adopt a dog on a Friday night or Saturday morning, you know what I mean? So that you're, you have the weekend to kind of 
get them used to your house, get them into a schedule. And until you know for sure when they're ready to go, it just takes time. It's, I mean, it's not, it blows my mind how many people think that a dog should just automatically know. Some do, but some don't. He doesn't know. Think about it. He doesn't know what you're going to do next. He's going to need you to show him how it's going to work in, in, in the new house. So he's about six to eight years old. So they're not sure of his age, really. He's 7.1 pounds. Oh, so cute. Chad, you little monkey. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Oh, look at that face. That's a Dodge. Oh, now we saw Dodge earlier in the videos that they had. He's a special one. I could tell. He's Kim's already fallen in love with this one. He is a Chihuahua. Let's see what does it say about him. He's a Chihuahua mix, it says. He could be full Chihuahua, but they're saying Chihuahua mix. He's five years old as of October of 2023, and he's 6.6 .6 pounds. He is a sweet boy that loves nothing more than to be cuddled and carried around. He just needs time and patience to adjust to new people and situations. He gets along with other dogs and never makes a mess in his kennel. He's looking for the right person to give him a second chance at a new life. Uh, I think it sounds like he's one of those. He's, he's like a little couch potato that this is going to be. It's almost like when you bring a new a dog into your house. It's like y'all could sit down in the living room. This is the way I picture it because I used to do this. So you bring the dog in, sit down in the living room, plan to put on like Netflix or something, right? Make sure the dog has their little spot where you're going to let them lay or whatever. Don't force. Let them find a spot and just kind of chill with them for a little bit. And then, of course, you go outside to the same door every time for a little bit and you work them into that routine and they'll pick up pretty quickly. On what's going on this seems like a dog that's going to need time for its true nature to come out but a lot of chihuahuas are, are a little skittish that's just kind of part of their nature not all but some but that's a couch potato. look at the, oh my gosh you guys skittles they named it skittles she's a chihuahua catch the rainbow <laughs> oh they crack me up look at that okay it's a male skittles is five years old as of september of 2023 anyway 6.6 .6 pounds he is full of personality absolutely sweet and loves to be held and he's this and this be the center of attention and he gets along good with other dogs and cats he's been in a foster home with cats so when Skittles came to us, he was unfortunately heartworm positive. That's why they've had him since October, you guys. Um, we have treated him for the heartworms and he is ready for adoption. Possibly due to the heartworms, he is currently on a heart medication and does have a murmur. Okay, but don't freak out about that. A lot of dogs have heartworm murmurs. Um, I've had dogs before that have had heart murmurs. And when they passed of old age, they passed of old age or something else. It had nothing to do with the heart murmur. But don't let that freak you out. Look at that. Oh, you guys. Skittles. Teddy. <sighs> I love the little chihuahuas that have the little short legs. It's almost like they got a corgi look to them. Or they've got like a dachshund look to them. Let's see. This is a male chihuahua mix. He's good in a home with other dogs and other animals. He prefers a home without children. I don't blame you, Teddy. I do too. Let's see. He's three to four years old as of October of 2023. He weighs 13 pounds. He wants to be loved, but is a nervous. he's a nervous of new people and situations. He has warmed up to us a lot. He used to be, he used to, oh, he used to go to the bathroom when you pick him up. What do they call that? Um... I forget what they call that. It says, looks forward to us taking him outside and having playtime. House trained. He is house trained. He's He's got a fenced yard. Probably is best for him at first. Now, um, until you're sure that he'd do on a, how he'd do on a leash with how nervous he gets in new places and stuff. So, yeah, he's a little bit of a, 
that's okay. Sometimes when they're nervous like that, it helps. I don't know. It just kind of, it bonds you to them because you feel it. You, you feel that sense of mother with them, you know, like, I don't trust. I need you to watch me and be careful. And he looks like my, my blaze. He reminds me of my blaze. Blaze was a little dog. I adopted from canine castaways. Well, I fostered until Kim gave up and just said, just keep him. Um, yeah, that dog was my heart and soul, and I, I lost him about right before I moved from Florida. That was a tough one to lose. That was a tough one. Zulu. Or is it Zula or Zulu? All right, talk to me, guys. What's this? We got a female, small, chihuahua. And a lot of times, too, these rescue organizations will put mix automatically behind the name just because they don't know. We don't have breed. We don't have papers on these dogs. But I'm sorry. Does your baby come with papers? No. I mean, it comes with a birth certificate. But come on now. Estimated date of birth is 6 um, Zulu is 16 is 10.6 pounds as of March and she is located in Sarasota, Florida. She's Melissa's fostering her. She's super smart and has figured out how to get out of the playpen. Uh Oh, she will climb on. She will climb up on things if she can. She's very curious about everything. Loves to hunt crickets, has zero fear. Oh Lord. She's a handful. She will sleep all night in a crate as long as her foster brother is next to her in her in his crate. And she would do best with a playmate or a very active family. Uh, and she's doing really good with her house training, it says. They want a verifiable dog puppy history and excellent vet history. I'll tell you what, Canine Castaways is not playing around anymore. Once you get dogs returned for ever stupid stuff, you kind of lose your patience. Let's watch this video. Playing with the cat. Looney. Look at that face. Oh, I love his eyes. He's there's a name for there's a reason for that name, y'all. Play. There was a song playing in the background, and anyone get copyright struck. He's a mess. Obviously, he's good with cats. <laughs> Look at this little thing. He looks like he's so sad. Guppy. They named him Guppy. Oh, he must have. He came in with the other one, or he's a puppy. Guppy the puppy. Miniature poodle and terrier mix. Medium coat. House trained. Yes. He's affectionate, gentle, playful, smart, athletic, shy, and he needs another dog in his home. One year old as of September of 2023. Anyways, about seven pounds. They think he's got like poodle in him. He has scruffy hair, but it's, n n oh, it's not non shedding, even though he does have some poodle in him. Uh, so Guppy is the sweetest, cuddly, cuddly, playful boy. He loves attention and will sit at your feet and give you the sad puppy dog eyes to pet him. He also enjoys being held and cuddled. Guppy is house trained, crate trained, and will need some leash training. He enjoys playing with foster mom. I'm sorry. He enjoys playing with his foster siblings and chewing on bugs. Guppy does have a deformed back leg and does not have. Wait. And does not have a normal hip joint. Okay. It does not affect his running, walking, or playing though. Dogs are so resilient. At this time, that's the same thing. I think they would have told you if you had to be on meds for that. So that, 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 
probably is not a big deal. We we humans sometimes make it more of a big deal than it is to the dog. That's a pretty one. I think this one, this little one was on Facebook today earlier too. Bagel, yeah. Bagel. Bagel is a young female. Short hair. No grooming required. Terrier mix. She's two years old as of January of 2023. And she's 16 pounds. So she's like a medium size. She almost looks like she has like Jack and Jack Russell in her somewhere. But it could just be the coloring. I don't know. She's cute. Is there a note from the foster mom? Oh, yeah. She's shy with people at first and loves to play with other dogs. She's active and will need leash training. She would not go well with. Oh, she would not do well with young children. She can still sometimes get scared of new things and people and children move too fast for her. That makes sense. They move too fast for me too. She would need to be in a, in, a, in an adult only home with a person or a couple that will let her settle in and feel safe. She still does get nervous being picked up until she knows someone. You know. She just needs someone that can go slow with her. She said a bagel will do best in a home with another dog where she can learn the ropes and have a friend to play with. That's true. If you have a dog that's already in the house, it does help kind of train the dog in. Let's see. So we'll watch Bagel on some videos later on in the stream. Delilah. Oh, Delilah. You know that <laughs> the soft music lady <laughs> that likes to tell the little tales on the radio. Look at that. So cute. She's quiet and shy and timid. She's good with other dogs and other animals. She's four years old as of December of 2022. So that would make her five years old now. And she's 12 pounds. They would not adopt her out to anybody that has kids. She's good with other dogs and thinks she's okay with cats, but would have to verify. Probably needs a fenced yard at first till she can trust her people and get used to a leash. So cute. Okay, let's go to the next one. Oh, we got a bigger one. Bolt. Okay, there's a reason they name it Bolt. It probably bolts out the front door. So you got to be careful. Uh, this is a terrier mix, Bolt is. He was four years old as of September of 2023, and he's 19 pounds. Oh, Laura's got him. My friend Laura's... <laughs> My friend Laura Bradenton's fostering him. It says, check out our sweet Bolt. Bolt is aptly named as he is fast as a lightning bolt. He is very active, enjoys spending time outside, so a forever home with a fenced yard would be best. Bolt gets along well with other dogs and would thrive with a playmate. So a home with another dog would be ideal for him. Bolt knows some commands like sit and walk really well on a leash, but still needs work on potty and crate training and will require additional training and patience. He can be reactive to new people and changes in his environment. So, but he bonds really quickly once trust is established. Bolt spent quite some time in a kennel environment, but now that he is spending time in a foster home, his sweet, happy personality is starting to shine and he is becoming the awesome dog that we all know he is. Oh, you go, Laura, girl. By the way, hey, Laura, I miss you. He's so pretty. Bolt. He looks smaller there, don't he? So cute. All right, now we got Radcliffe. Radcliffe. <laughs> what do y'all come up with? She, Kim and them, they'll let the foster parents name the dogs because Kim's like run out of names. She's been doing this for 20 years, you guys. She's like, yeah, if you want to name them, go ahead. Because <laughs> I just don't even know. We just can't have the same name of, of a two dogs in the, in the same rescue thing because it just doesn't work. It's too confusing. And don't think because a dog's name to start, you know, don't make think because a dog has a name that you have to keep that name all the time. Like you could incorporate another name into it. Like if you didn't like Radcliffe, maybe you could start calling him 
Radcliffe something else, add, add name at the end of that, and then eventually drop off the Radcliffe. So you kind of work your way into a new name on a dog. That's the way I would recommend doing it. I mean, think about how many times we call dogs baby and sweetie and all these other pet names. And they're like, they respond to them. So they can get used to a new name too. Uh, three years old as of October 2022. So he's four years old now. And he's eight pounds. He's cute. Ginger. It's pretty. She's a pretty girl. Short hair, no grooming required. Dots and Chihuahua mix, of course. Four years old as of March 2023, and she's 12 pounds, and she's in Arcadia. I bet Kim's got her. Ginger is an active, high active, high energy girl. She can and will climb a chain link fence. So we'll need a fence she can not climb or no fence. So you're talking about a high energy family. This is going to take her out to a lot of dog parks or a lot of walks on a leash. She's cute. Ginger. She's a little rowdy thing. Twiggy. Look at, oh, Twiggy just stole my heart with his New York Yankee outfit. Look at that. He's a Yankee fan. He also likes football. <laughs> Let's see. He prefers a home without cats. He's probably one of those cat annoyers dogs where he chases them and messes with them. He's got a Manchester Terrier mix in him. Let's see. He's three years old as of February 2021, which makes him four or five six years old now he's 20 pounds as of september 2021 he's a very loving little guy who is looking for an active forever home twiggy has a lot of energy and is very very fast he would do best in a home with a fenced yard as he walks may not give him the exercise he needs so he needs more exercise than that another dog his size to play with would be great because that you know i read one time guys that when a, when two dogs play together that's the most exercise that they they can get more exercise doing that than going on a walk with you. He can be a bit bossy mm. and he will need further work on boundaries. Twiggy needs an adult only home, no children. He is crate trained and is doing very well in his house with his house training. It sounds like, oh, Laura's got this one too. Sounds like his bio needs to be updated. Laura, is this your forever foster, honey? Twiggy is a dog that can be tricky with some things and is going to need a specific type of home. That's why they've had him so long. We will be limiting the area for adoption for him due to, due to this. At this time, we will only consider homes in Manatee, Sarasota, DeSoto County. We also do require that you have a current or recent dog history. I bet he's an escape artist. He's high energy. Look at him. He looks like he could get into some mischief. He's a Bucks fan. All right there. All right now, Twiggy. Go Yankees. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is just Forever Fosters. So I'm going to read this story to you guys. This because this happened to me a lot. Canine Castaways believes that there's a home for every dog we rescue. And we are willing to wait to find it. However, did y'all hear my Frankie just moan? He just got settled into his bed. And he's mad that it's 1 a.m. in the morning and I'm doing this. However, now, every now and then a certain dogs have ongoing medical expenses that make adoption more difficult. And they do, these dogs have a very special place in our hearts and still deserve a chance at happiness. We do not want the fear of vet bills to get in their way. We have established our forever foster program, which pays for their ongoing medical care at our primary vet, which is Animal Ark of Arcadia. Our forever foster dogs are looking for their human heroes who are not afraid to open their hearts to show them love. I think since then they've opened up their own. I think Animal Ark of Arcadia is now a different name, by the way. I think Kim's sister 
um, is the vet over there. Kim runs the organization. So, yeah, these are the forever fosters that with medical issues that CODA. Spirit. Oh. Well, that's it for the adoptables on Pet Finder. They don't seem to have as many as I thought they did. But they will. They get new dogs in every day. It's y'all, it's a never ending cycle. It's like anything, I guess. All right, I'm going to play some more videos from their challenge that they're working on up until noon Wednesday. So I'm going to say it one more time until Wednesday, April the 10th at noon. Any donation that's made through the Giving Challenge website, K9 Castaways will receive a match on that donation. So if you would like to do that, feel, um, I'm leaving links so that you can go find that. And also, if you would like to, um, if you don't have monetary way to help them, that's okay. Just share. Please share. Share this video. Share K9 Castaways website. Share their uh, Facebook page. Um, the, I go to their and watch all the stuff that they're doing through tomorrow at noon. Their Facebook is uh, just search K9 Castaways Inc on Facebook and you should be able to find them again. You need to look for the, their logo, which let me share this tab. See their logo right here. It's a little, it's two, it's like a two little dogs on a, like a raft. That's their logo. That's the organization you're looking for because canine castaways. Um, there probably are various organizations throughout the world that have that, name as a rescue organization. So you want to make sure that you're finding the one that, that we're talking about. But at the same time, maybe this encourages you to go to your local shelters or your local rescue organizations to volunteer or um, foster a dog. You know, sometimes you can just go in and do like a one day volunteer because a lot of these organizations, they will have uh, days where they go out to uh, public spaces like a pet smart or something like that. Pet smart has a program where they'll let rescue groups come in and um, they need volunteers to help them walk dogs throughout the day or just kind of be around to help answer questions and whatnot. And if that's all you can do is donate a couple of hours on a Saturday to help them do something like that, then that makes a difference. Every little bit makes a difference. But again, I'll go back to this because I don't want anybody to feel like they, they have to overdo on this or that I'm trying to be forceful. Clicking the share button makes a difference and it makes more of a difference than you know, because I'm, I'm living proof of that because Laura, who I mentioned earlier, I met her in Bradenton and we became friends. I talked to her. I helped her when she first became a foster and started volunteering. And you guys, that was over 10 years ago, I think. And she's done more than I ever did with this organization already. So you just never know what your part in it, the part that you play. You may not be the main part. You just might be leading somebody to become a main wheel in the cog. So, or cog in the wheel. Is that what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Me and my, me and my ramblings. Well, I hope you guys didn't mind me rambling. I love to talk about dogs. I love to talk about rescue and uh, I really appreciate you being here with me. And again, we'll watch some more videos down the road. I'll be posting a couple of random things until tomorrow at noon or the 10th. So stick with me. Don't go nowhere. Thank you so much. Paws had never touched grass. They all came from a hoarding situation um, nearly two years ago. Aww. And they're still with us. Bless so, their hearts. Um, they're very shy. They have their ways. They go in and out of the kennel. We talked about the one before, how he Aww. zooms he around and zooms around. And then you open the door for him. He races right back in and waits for you to put him in his kennel. So, um, where we... You guys, some of these babies that come from the hoarding situations, some, whether it's hoarding or breed or, you know, bad breeders, these dogs have been in a crate their entire life. We, 
I remember when I was with the group one time, they got some dogs in. These dogs' feet, paws had never touched grass. And they were, they were like 10 years old more. But these poor babies, they're just, it's, you just, oh, it's so sad. You just don't know what they've been through. But there's always a positive outcome when they're with rescue. So don't get upset over it, guys. Okay, we're going to try to catch somebody and uh, maybe face paint. We face paint and Mishka over here. Oh. Will we be okay if I can just slide over? She looks so cute. But anyway, we just wanted to feature a couple of our guys that, uh, you know, I've been here for, for a very long time, and, and that's what we do. I mean, if they're here for some more long time, so that's uh, the way it is. But we I think like this setup. Realize that they take, it's going to take some time for them to adapt to you, um, for you to adapt to them. But if you have a lot of patience and really want to help out a dog who's been here for quite a long time from a very bad situation, we would really like to hear from you. Um, yeah. Please let us know. Or you know somebody. They look like multi poos. We had dogs when I first really got in past teen or so. Yeah. We had 35 dogs here from a hoarding situation. And every single one of them found a home. The last one took, what, three years or so? The last one we thought there is no way, no how that anybody is going to adopt this dog. There were only two people here that could handle the dog. Um, so we just thought uh, that we're going to have that dog for life. But it turns out that we found a really nice lady who really wanted to do it. She had some experience with dogs like that. And she sent us a video within a week. The dog was great. So so there is a, there is a match for every dog. Yep. Um, we just hope we can find it. That, so I think, that baby's scared. That's, what That's Rudolph. Thinks of that. That's what Rudolph thinks of that. Um, okay, we're going to take these That's guys in. And again, in about 20, 25 minutes, somewhere around 2 o'clock, please tune in because it's slime time. Slime time. Yeah, they're going to slime the vet tech. So, so basically, they're doing these all day long for the next, well, till to tomorrow at noon, just to gain exposure and promote the the giving challenge as much as they possibly can so again if you're able to um, share this on your social media i would so appreciate you so so much and please let me know that you did it okay don't just do it and not don't what i was saying was don't just do it and not tell me that you did it because i want to know you did it Okay, I want to show you, uh, let's, I want to go over to, let's see, there, so this is them. this page so I'm going to share their Facebook page so that you guys can see what they're doing See, they're even have a, having a slumber party for these songs. <laughs> Hello, again. Hello, Hello. 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 Uh oh, Oscar. Oh, Oscar. Oh, He's Oscar. just a, uh, yeah. He's too cute to not. I am his Darla. Oh, and Spicy, if you're awake, <laughs> if you're watching, she would like to be your sister. Hockey oh, <laughs> says it's okay, but Spicy, um, uh, anyway, this is Darla, and I love Darla. I feel, I, I hear a foster failure coming on on that one.
Oops, I did it again. Dodger again. Every time you hit that button, it turns oh, the flame look, off. Oh, look, it's Dodge. Dodger Roger again. <laughs> this is my baby boy. And hold on, I can do this. Scooter. I have Scooter. Scooter. There's Scooter. Scooter Scooter's not going to do any scooting tonight. We're just going to yeah, hang yeah, out. Tell people about Scooter in case people don't know Scooter. Yeah, Scooter. Scooter, you want to look up here? No. Here. We're going to have him out tomorrow in his um, scooter, scooting all around. Maybe he can take uh, us on a tour. Oh, yeah, Scooter will love Scooter that. Loves scooter okay. loves him some food. Dodge, too. Dodge, you already had a whole piece of pizza, Dodge buddy. Not share with anyway, me. Sorry, let's hear the scooter story. Yeah, that's that's okay. Scooter, scooter was hit by a car and left. Scooter, you want to look at the camera? He was he was left um, untreated for six months oh. and was just uh, actually scooting on the side of the road oh, when baby. we picked him up. So he had massive infection in one of his legs and he had to have that leg amputated and now he just scoots everywhere. So that's our, his original name, the Scooter. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's we Scooter's were story. Ever, ever fostered for him. Someone that would just take him into the home and love him. He does take a little bit of care of, you know, yes, he's going to have to wear a belly band, but we've got the scooter that he can scoot around on. We have several different wheels that you can put him in. Um, he just needs someone that's going to love and give him attention. He loves, oh, as you can see, he loves attention. He loves food. Oh, my gosh. He is so food motivated. You will have no problem with Aww. that. Um, yeah, he's going to be a little bit more care than a normal dog, but he's sweet. Uh, probably best as an only dog, but uh, maybe another female. He might, he might tolerate. He doesn't mind the girls as much. Um, but we want to get him out of here. We want to get him out of the cage and get him into a home where somebody can love him and let him scoot around and live his little life. <laughs> right, Scoot? Good boot. Good scooter. All right. Scoot. Oh, you're not getting down. Scoot says they got my back. They got my back. Good morning. We're doing breakfast. With breakfast, we need 10 people to comment on breakfast. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. It's a little late. <laughs> oh, yeah. We do apologize for all the lateness. We sometimes run behind. We have real life situations that happen with being in the vet, and um, we just get off on time. So yeah, seven, eight, nine, eleven. It's all out of the range. It's okay. <laughs> seven in the morning. Yeah, it's uh, all good. With By the way, I just want to say I do notice the matching pajamas, you guys. You look adorable. Favorite breakfast is, and we have someone who will donate five hundred dollars for us. So please, in the morning, check us out with our video. What time is breakfast? I don't know. Between the well, hours of um, seven, seven to nine. Okay. <laughs> so seven to nine p a.m. Seven to nine a.m. April the tenth, Wednesday morning, and that's the time that they're talking about is Eastern Standard Time. Apparently, they've got a, a donor that says if you can get ten Facebook comments on the breakfast stream, we'll donate five hundred dollars. Everybody going. Um, so keep us on, and when you see us pop up, get on there to comment. Costa's just like, he's wide awake. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Punky's trying to be involved. He's just a little guy. Oh, poor Punky. Just... And Dodge is such a chihuahua. Hi, Wawa. That's a Wawa. That's a Wawa. Punky's. <laughs> Punky's just a little guy. He's only like seven, eight months old. He's a young, young pup. This is Darla. <laughs> oh, Darla. Darla. This is beauty. 
Oh, a few things that are that we're working for, like your donations are going for. We would really love to get our yard taken care of. Right now it is mostly sand. So the dogs come in full of sand, very sand everywhere. It was total grass when we moved here, but with the all the doggy traffic out there. It just really they can't down. handle everything. So we'd love to get artificial grass out there so that we one, also we can keep the contaminants of worms, <laughs> worms and everything else because we can spray the yard and kill everything like that and not have to worry about the grass um and then also okay. all the mud and everything so that's one of our big projects that we really 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 need and really want to get done we also need to put a shade up over all the backyard too and we would mm -hmm. love to get a new cage for in our parvo room to make it just a little bit easier on us you kind of saw a little bit of how small the room is um but we don't always have parvo dogs so we don't really need a huge area but when we get them sometimes they come in groups and for the kennel area when we moved over here we got all the new cage banks in the kennel but we drug over the old yucky stuff from the other place and just because we had to because if anybody knows how much kennels are they're not cheap so we could only swing doing the main kennel when we moved over and just had to make do with the old stuff so that stuff's hard to clean it's hard to disinfect it's hard to get in the parvo room because they're so deep the kennels are so deep so we found some that are are uh, not so deep and they're much easier to clean so we really would like to get that in parvo because parvo obviously you want to keep everything as clean as you can but parvo really needs to be clean those are just a few of the things that your donations will go towards that we would really like to make things better for the dogs hey, Oscar loves all dogs he is like, he just hey, Aunt him. Connie. She's away. Is she on? Everybody say hi, hi. to Aunt hi. Connie. Hey, the, today is Aunt Connie and Uncle Dan's 25th wedding anniversary. Oh, happy birthday. 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 Happy Wow, you're up late, huh? Max Torres. Oh, okay. Sorry, Max. Don't take offense to that, please. <laughs> so this is this. Is, we're gonna get. Hey, Debbie said. Hey, everyone. We're gonna pop some uh, some natural air popped popcorn for the. Oh wait, no, that um put it back on. No. Let's see. Melissa's very challenged. No, it's all good. Just push put that back on. Put it back on like that. Okay. This isn't hard. Find a plug. That's gonna be the challenge. <laughs> what what is Okay, I have to tell y'all something. The lady that's holding the camera that's talking, her name is Kim Rinaldi. Yeah, I'm calling you out, girl. Um, uh, she's, she's a superwoman. She's the wonder woman who started canine castaways 20 years ago and spends every breath on these animals that need home. And the beauty in what she does is she's not just good with animals. She's good with people too, <laughs> of all our shapes and sizes. She, uh, she, I don't know. I just, I consider her a dear friend and I just love her. I don't know why the when I hit pause it takes off the volume. Oh, what is, what is, there's a plug right over there. Over there. <laughs> you can set it right up there by the yep. That's part. No, I was gonna say no. Okay, that's fine. Set it up there. Well, I can give it pizza. Wait, does it shoot? Oh. Hopefully. Yes, it does. But you so could somebody go out and get the popcorn bowls, please? <laughs> okay. Oh, I thought it was too minutes to pop in the room. It is, if she's not careful. So that cup on the top, you pour some kernels in there. We're going to have blue popcorn, everybody. Oh, 
So for those of you just tuning in, they're having a slumber party for the giving challenge. And then you dump them in there and turn it on. That's what I'm told. And you said, okay, don't be crazy. Don't be crazy. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. I told Liz to go look for the balls, didn't I? That means they're sitting right in front of her and she's not going to see them. They say popcorn. They're over here by the door in a container. They're red and white. Can't start it until. You say I can't start it. Hey, Candy. Here, Candy, there's there's little Dodge that you were asking about. He still has his face paint on from earlier. Look, he's ready. Look at him looking for popcorn. He's like, I'm ready. Um, um, somebody give her a bowl. She's going to start shooting popcorn everywhere. Ready? We're going to catch it. We're going to catch it at the fun <laughs> She'll make a mess if she wants to. Yeah, but we have to sleep in here tonight. We want to sleep in this. Yeah, so everybody, it's for real. We're going to sleep in here. <laughs> We've got our best, best bed. Right for here. real. My for real. We're going to need to disinfect it. Well, it's getting, it's getting crazy. I can see it. You can see it. I can smell it. I can smell, I smell it. Hot. Mm. Smells, it smells like this building for the on fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. Sorry, it's too cold. It's spray. Yeah. Here, it's the yeah. cold, right? It's cold. Oh, oh, like oh, oh, I see the first one popping. Oh, oh, I smell it now. I can smell the. Hey, how about you, Debbie? Can you smell the popcorn? <laughs> can you smell oh. it? Here it comes. Ready? Hi, Eileen. Wow, night owls. Is Mango watching with you? Ready? Oh my gosh. I know. You you know what? Oh no, Candy, we're not tired. Are you kidding? We're still going strong. I really think we just need to go ahead and start our own channel. Here comes, here comes. I can that is, that is some, yep. Debbie said it smells good. <laughs> it does smell good, Debbie. It, it really does. And Dodge, Dodge, does it smell good? Oh, here, let me get it back out there so everybody can see it. Look, here it comes. Dodge. He wants pizza. Yeah, I know. Dodge, do you like popcorn? I don't know if you can see this, but he is watching very closely. Popcorn. Uh, you want some popcorn? It does. Just like I want pizza. Not so much. Yeah, no. Well, it was <laughs> nice. It was a nice. It smells good. Plus Thanks, you. Max. They are having a pretty good day. Hey, Max says all you're all amazing. Ah, oh, thanks, oh, Max. Max. Yes, you are. So Dodge is the only one that wants to eat the popcorn. No, Puffy is trying to smell it. Grandma says no. That's my bedtime. Let's go see these. Guess what, guys? I hear a pump. I hear I I hear an IV pump. Mm. <laughs> How's the who is Pat holding? Pat is holding Darla. Look at her in her little pink pajamas. She's got pink pajamas. Oh, 
She's uh oh, Scooter now likes the popcorn. So that's why she's trying to get in my heart because she's got dogs. Look at Scooter with the popcorn. You know what we should do sometime? What? <laughs> we should tell everybody. I'm not sure if now late night is maybe we should do it, but we should tell everybody like what we do in real life. There's <laughs> <laughs> probably people think we just are here the whole time. Mm. So I wish time. we could. Yeah, I wish so. I wish this is my full time job to do. Yeah. It doesn't if you are telling well. bedtime stories. There you go. It's like, um, oh, we should love the popcorn. More? Woo! You see, not my fingers. Oscar wants to play with it. Well, Scooter has decided it's really good. And poor Dodge, he's not getting another piece. Ready, Dodge? Ready? Get Scooter. Ready, catch it. Oscar's got his one kernel and six pieces over here. <laughs> Just because it's on your bed. Yeah. Oscar! All over my bed. Oscar! Hey, don't have it, Oscar. Sorry for that. Um, if anybody's motion sick, sorry. I sort of jerked it around a little too fast. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh-oh. I'm trying not to. Isn't it something when the 19-year-olds are um, going to sleep? I'm not. Watch. I'm going to all y'all going to go to sleep first. I have been with I'm you, just checking y'all. and you were the first one to sleep, so don't even. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're in our movies right now. We got our popcorn. Well, here. You're in charge of the remote. <laughs> hey, Tracy Spronger. It's early where you are. Okay. Everyone, Liz is leaving the party. Work. Yeah, Liz has to be right here to work. So make sure you wake us up when you come in. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll are you off the door? You want me to? No, I'll walk the door. Bye. Bye. Okay, we're getting ready to watch the movie. What are you watching? Hey, Liz, I'll can you flip that heaven. light switch? Oh, look, everybody. Oh. Cop con Ooh. Copyright content about the head. Yeah, I'm going to have to shut this off. Uh, Liz, Debbie said bye. 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 <laughs> okay, everybody. We'll have to show you. Show you what we're gonna watch. What movie we're gonna watch? Hey, Whoa. Ella. Scooter. 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 What's your problem, Scooter? All right, let's go back over here. Let me find the page that I want to show you guys. Uh. They did another video before they did the slumber party. And I want to pull that up and show that to you guys. I don't know how to do this without. Hang on. I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> I'm trying to stay up all night. Everybody, boy. All right. Beginning. Hey, everybody! Welcome to our puppy pizza party. I have Paco. I have Winky. Winky. I got Dodger Roger. <laughs> and, and I have Oscar. Oscar. Yay. Everybody, boy. All right. Who wants pizza? Some pizza. Oh, so we're boy. digging in. Be careful, don't get messy. This is doggy pizza. Doggy mm -hmm. pizza. So it's not people pizza. <laughs> Winky oh. loves it. Yeah. Winky is going so it's so it's pasta, sweet pasta. potato, like mashed sweet potato sauce. <laughs> here, just kidding. Aw. <laughs> All right, you stay over here. here, here. Sorry, oh, Oscar, I'm filming. Ah. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> she's nuts look over it. What about look you? Look what about you? Oh, 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 look at Dodge. He's the best boy. Still wearing his face paint. Paco, how's your pizza, buddy? Paco's gonna eat the whole thing. 
<laughs> Paco says, I, I love it. Love <laughs> Oh, Paco, oh, Paco, that slice so of pizza is gone. Look at my so guy. Nice He's like, oh, poor me. I got a stupid camera person. I'm not getting any pizza. <laughs> Pat is sleeping with Paco pizza over there. Oh, good boy. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Hey, Mark, welcome in. Good morning. What you doing up so early? So uh, just so you guys know, we're watching the slumber party that they're having at Canine Castaways for to celebrate the giving challenge. And it's a pizza party. And the recipe that they've used for this has sweet potatoes in it. And it's, it's specifically for the dogs. It's not for people. And I'm going to tell Kim, we need to sell that recipe. We need to get that recipe, girl. Oh, I need some more now. It's perfect. Dodge is in the background eating so nicely. So is, look at Oscar eating so friendly. Nice little bites. I know, everybody's pajamas. Did we check them out? Check them out. Dodge and his leopard. We got Oscar. Oscar, what you got? On? Winky, Winky is, we're losing it on Winky over here. <laughs> <laughs> we have a wardrobe malfunction. Serious. And Paco is sporting in the lumberjack. The lumberjack's And Misha's just always cute. Misha's just always cute. <laughs> I think Paco and Winky are a little food excited. Hey, hey. <laughs> well, they're going to share. Okay, that's cute. Look, sharing. Oh, sharing. Yeah, he's like, don't you dare share. I don't share. Dod Dodge. Yeah, Dod so let's see. How does Dodge? Dodge eats. The no toppings. Who, <laughs> who needs a jar? Who he doesn't? Yep, yeah, right there. Good boy, Dodge. You watch that diet. Winky. Winky's lost her. Kim, your bedtime is set for 1030. Oh. Yeah, could you pass out some of those? <laughs> we need napkins. Like, huh? Even Pretty Mishka's looking for you. more. Y'all have to try that recipe. We'll share the link. How about that? I can share yes. the link to the recipe. Yes, we will share the link so that you can. Oh, yeah, good. They're going to share the link. So, hey, you've always got um, 12, let's see, 13 and a half hours left for the giving challenge. So, still still How many donors do we have? We had 140. 140 yeah, donors. We need 60 donors to make it more. 60 when we're like 200 donors. Our goal is $35,000. Yep. So we are, I think, 10,000. We're doing it. We're doing okay. We would just really like to get to our match to so that we can help more dogs. And we really want to work. Oh, we need to talk about what we're all going for. Yeah, we do. Yeah. So we will discuss more of what our goals are with the fund so that you understand more of what our plan is. Oh, Oscar. Oh, Oscar. Oh, my gosh. Winky's running around naked. You can do a shed test with these pajamas. Yes. <laughs> you didn't tell. We all have matching pajamas. Yeah, I've yes. noticed it. Y'all yes. look so cute. Dodge. So Dodge needs a topping only, topping only pizza eater. Who's a, my topping only pizza eaters out there? Dodge is your man. He will help you eat the toppings only. And then Paco will take the rest. Yes. All right. 
We are going to get another group and then we're going to get the video started. Yep. We're going to watch it. We're going to do another pizza and then it'll be video time. So we'll be back in just a few minutes. We just got to get our other pups ready. We need to talk before the movie. Okay. Let's go to the other one. Look at that little baby. Oh, so freaking cute. So stinking cute. Hang on. I'm going to try to find another stream here. So let me just share their page. Okay. For those of you who not know, I got booted off of Facebook. I don't know why. I don't know what the problem is with me. Probably because I'm streaming. <laughs> I don't care. Anyway, so I can't log in and say anything or do anything on the website, but you can. Um, it's Canine Castaways Inc. on Facebook. Look for your the little their little logo right here. T from noon till noon tomorrow and this morning they're doing a breakfast video and there's a donor that said if they can get 10 comments on that video for the breakfast they'll donate $500 to the organization so if you guys are uh, can go and like their page and I don't know what time they're doing the breakfast thing though. I think she said 8 to 9 which would be Eastern Standard Time is their time that's the one we just watched. Let's see. Okay, we haven't watched this yet. So they did <laughs> they did a slime challenge. <laughs> Craziness. Let's watch this from the beginning. It's kind of loud. Oh, that's just one loop. Hang on. There's a there's a whole Trying to make sure I don't miss something here. <sighs> oh, this is them working with the dogs. Okay, we got to watch this one too. So let me sh out. Race Town. hearing that was. Okay, we are back with another real live moment. Not only do we do cats and dogs and a numerous other animals. This is a great blue herring that was just dropped off that was hit by a car. Oh. And so we need to do x-rays. So Kim, our vet tech, Chrissy, our vet tech. Now we'll very strategically yeah. try and get x-rays without <laughs> having issues. Yes. Let's see how this goes. Let's see <laughs> what kind of real life action we will have tonight. So this is something we deal with all the time of the animals being brought to us, found, hit, babies, and it can be anywhere from cats, dogs, Dr. Pam works on pretty much all of them, horses, pigs, ducks, turtles. The stories she could tell. Giraffes. Cows. She does it all. Mm -hmm. Lizards. Lizards. There's see little kitty friends there trying to help. Uh -huh. them. The, cat, the cat's <laughs> trying to help. They're We're giving their trying support. To reach out and touch someone. <laughs> they know it's the giving challenge, so That's they right. want to reach out and help. They want to be the one. They want to be the one. There you go. They want to be the one to help. Okay, let me go over here and we can look at our little x-ray. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what I'm looking at, but it sure doesn't look good. It looks like a spider. Yeah, it does. It looks like a spider. Yeah, now they have to figure out what's supposed to be there and what's not. And what's going in the proper direction and what's not. When you have a bird, that's kind of, mm -hmm. kind of tricky. So that's that's for them. Meanwhile, the the bird is actually being horrible. Yeah, the bird's actually. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah, right. At least it's not freaking out. You can see she's trying to spread his wing out a little bit to get a better picture. So, Dr. Pam, who's sitting here to my left, what will we do with this bird once we find out what's up with it? Probably send it down to Peace River Wildlife Center. 
Yeah, he'll probably, he, she will go down to Peace River Wildlife Center. We're just kind of doing a. We appreciate Peace River. Yeah. Thank you for taking all the wildlife. We'll take the cats and dogs if you'll take the wildlife, yeah. please. Which can be wild sometimes. <laughs> so we can't say that cats and dogs are not wild. No, not at all. But most of the time. Most of the time they're not. So they're just trying to get different angles. They've got to get legs, wings, uh -oh. trying to uh -oh. figure out. Uh oh, okay. now he's now it's the feisty. first getting time feisty. the bird is figuring out. <laughs> Cats are still trying to help. Yeah, yeah. The cats probably, maybe their natural instinct is kicking in. <laughs> I hear, I hear a smell of bird out there. Yeah, there's a bird. I'm kind of small, but well, now she's now the cat, now the kitten's deciding to attack the, the clipboard. The clipboard on the front of his. Evidently, that's the monster that lives. So we're still trying to figure out what's up with the bird, but at least it's being good. So. Maybe during our next video, we'll give an update, huh? Yes. Okay, so, so far, so good as far as how the bird is acting. Um, maybe. Just, they just have to be careful and stay away from those. It's got some uh, nasty-looking claws or talons or whatever they're called. And a big beak. And a big he beak. He and he's mad. And he's hurt. So those are not, that's not a really happy combination. Yeah, his little face. I can see his little face right now, and uh, he's not happy. He's not happy. He's not happy. So anyway, we'll give you an update here when we do our next video, which uh, I think we're done. We no, we gotta do. We're gonna do some snack, hot dog yeah, snacks outside, hot dogs and, and then we'll have uh, our pizza our, party. Yeah, pizza pajama. Pizza pajamas. We'll see. We got some more stuff in the next. Uh, the night is young. It's only seven o'clock. <laughs> so. So anyway, let's see. We've got we've keep got, sharing, liking yeah. our videos, share our videos. Yeah, and if you haven't donated and you can, please, you know, please do that. The or links, yeah, links are like all. Like and the share. Place. That also helps us. Yeah, like and share. Prizes right. And others, so. Right. Tell your friends about us if you know about us. That's the best way to for us to get more followers and and that kind of thing. So just you know, remember, adopt, don't shop. If you can adopt from us, that's awesome. Um, for some reason you can't find another place because there's so many adoptable dogs and cats out there that need homes. All right. We will update you on the bird later on. Okay, we decided to try our little uh, our little train with a couple other dogs because they seem. The other ones were not the right size. Yeah, the other ones were not the right size. That's our theory, anyway. That they weren't the right size. Um, so we're going to see if the theory holds true. And we got the peanut butter all in there, and which they really like. And uh, oh, yep, there we go. To steal the peanut butter cup. There we go. Yep, our theory is working out really well so far, as you can see. Uh, our little guy here, he wants Punky says, "Okay, that's cool." These three, uh, three, three guys. Have we introduced these guys before? No, we haven't. So okay. The black one is Captain Sully. Captain Sully. There he is. Her name is Waffle. Waffle. We love food. We love food. Got Waffle. Got Waffle. And then the other little guy that looks like Norman, that's his, that is Rockwell. There we go. He Got Rockwell. Is healthy, no issues. All of them are about a year, year and a half old. They're one of they're our max size dogs. They're all right, 18, 22 pounds. 
We don't usually do two that size. We try to stay smaller. The driver of our train is having a little trouble. What's wrong, Kim? Doug, have you been drinking? <laughs> Doug? Doug. I think he's been seeing squirrels other places, so he's out. Okay. Squirrel! Come on! Let's go! Come on, guys. Let's go for a train ride. Let's go! Come in! Come in! No. If y'all get those dogs in that train and they stay, I'm going to give you such kudos. That's so they ran from the ball. Yeah. <laughs> We're all scared of the ball. Okay, well now they're all way over at the other side, where the oh they want now they want to go in the house. Um, <laughs> yeah, we could show more real life. Um, all right, well this group is uh, obviously not interested, so we are going to who knows what we're going to do next. Just uh, just stay tuned and you'll be entertained all evening long. I'm sure about that. We'll t we'll see you later. <laughs> All right, let's go to their next one. They've been putting posting these all day. They've been up there just they haven't stopped since noon on Tuesday. Okay, here's the other video. This one's about five minutes long. Okay. Okay, you're on. Okay, hi everyone. We're back here with uh, we're trying to do a little circus train ride for our dog, and uh, we've got them all set up with their little cars, and we got peanut butter in the cars, and we're really hoping that they want to take the train ride, but we'll see how this goes. Okay, we got one in there. Oh. <laughs> They're such happy little things. Oh, we got one. You just right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Steer. Okay. Here we go. Um, okay. Oh, there goes Melissa with the dog. Woo -hoo. There we go. Now everybody's gonna want to do it. Look at how fun! Oh, uh oh. <laughs> Traffic jam. I seventy five. Right now. It's for you guys that are just tuning in, they're doing oh. all this for the giving challenge. <laughs> well, our driver up there looks like she's driving on I-75. That's for sure. Okay. Promote the channel. Here we go again. Let's promote their website. Oh, Facebook Hill. page. Uh oh, we're going to have to. <laughs> and animal awareness. All right. Animal rescue awareness. Yeah. There we go. Here we go again. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> Melissa, you're going to dump the train over. All right. We're trying again. Well, Melissa's having fun. The dogs are running around. Dogs are running. Here, take Darla. <laughs> this is self-reversing. It's like, oh, gosh, I'm going to step on somebody. Oh. Uh-oh, she's going to try to go over the side. <laughs> this isn't, it's got to be a Jeep right here, man. All right. Doug. Oh, my goodness. Look. Kind of riding in the boat. Aww. The boat's not going anywhere, but okay. You rode for a while. All right. Okay. Now everybody wants to get in. Driving, Miss Darla. Dogs want to get in and get the peanut butter cups. Darla's a good rider. It's like having training wheels. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Doug's stuck. Hold on a second. Yeah, Doug's Doug's, Doug's off road. Oh. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. 
Oh, no. <laughs> Who is buying this thing, Doug? Who the Doug, heck? Doug. Doug. Doug, come on, man. Worse than Kim, Doug. Get yourself together here, Doug. Oh, Lulu. Lulu always wants to go. I don't know. Lulu, this thing's probably overweight with me. Right? Yeah, you in here. Lulu. We got the chubbiest dog. Oh, off she goes. They don't want to join, but they they just want the peanut butter. I think Melissa's working the hardest of all here, trying to get the train to go. The dogs seem quite amused, though, <laughs> even though they aren't riding. They want to chase. They want to chase the train. <laughs> all right. Well, that's our attempt at the that's our attempt at the carnival train ride. Like chair to it, I bet that sucker would fly around here. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. You lose and I see at the back. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Now they're having, yeah. Fun. These dogs are gonna be really chair. tired tonight. Look it up to the wagons. Look at all these guys. Now they all want to go for a ride, but okay. We're gonna, what's what are we doing next? What's our next thing? Uh, hot dogs. Oh, hot dogs. Yeah, like okay, we're gonna, um, we're gonna stop this and we're gonna. Get some of these dogs put away and get some other dogs and we're gonna give the dogs some hot dogs so <laughs> we will see you back very soon kudos to you guys y'all are doing such a great job bless your hearts and i bet y'all aren't gonna get any sleep tonight so let's see that one we just watched is this the i want to see the full look at this one they've even got a zoltar what do they call that? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Let's see what they're doing here. They've thought of everything. Hi, everyone. We're cleaned up from sliming. And we're back here. We want to do a couple fortunes with Zoltar. With our, our Zoltar booth. So I'm going to have Melissa talk about the little dog she's holding. And um, she really needs to hear from Zoltar what, what her future looks like. So... So this is Everly. Everly came from Manatee County. She has a broken pelvis that unfortunately could not be fixed surgically. So the treatment for it is cage rest. So as much as she hates being in her cage, when we take her out, this is what we do. We carry her around, let her go potty, try and give her a little time out, love on her. She's very, very sweet, young, but we'll need, this is one of the, things for medical or medical Mondays. We have several. And although we have a vet, if she were to need surgery, it would have been very, very expensive. So your donations help greatly to help dogs like these and getting whether it's their leg fixed or hips fixed or where they her, it's just gonna be cage rest. It's gonna be a long cage rest, but eventually she'll be good and she'll be ready to get adopted. And she is excited to hear what Zoltar is going to tell her. Okay, Zoltar. Everly wants to know her future. So we're going to look at this cool little Zoltar card that we have here. <laughs> and we're going to find out what Mr. Sneaky Zoltar says about her. Happily ever after will find you soon. Yay! Uh, yay. Someone's going to find you soon, Everly. Happily, Everly, after. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, Courtney. Everly. Hi. So that's our little Everly. We're going to okay, stop so we've here. We've got one more that I'm going to bring more. that also has. We're going to let you talk while she goes to get Norma. Right. I'll be back. All right. Here we are. <laughs> Okay, so we're winding down. Let's see, it's uh, five o'clock. We've only been doing this for five hours, and uh, we still have, let's see, 12, 6, until 7. You know what? I ran marathons, and when you get to mile 20, you cannot do math anymore. And so it's kind of like this right now. I feel like I can't do math anymore. But we have, uh, let's see, that would be, let's see, 12, 6, 8, 19 more hours. This is 24 hours, and we've only done five. Perhaps I should have done it that way. 24 minus 5. Anyway, so we still have 19 hours. We're at, uh, last time we looked, we were at somewhere around $18,000, I think, donations, 90-something um, donors. So that's, we're doing great. Um, our match is, I forget what it was at the time, but um, like I say, we have 19 more hours of this. So please remember that 
hundred dollars is up to a hundred dollars is matched by the Patterson Foundation. Thank you again, Patterson Foundation, for your generosity for that. So anything you donate up to a hundred dollars will be matched. But please don't let that stop you. If you want to give more, obviously we. Uh, and you see just some of the dogs today, um, these medical dogs that, that need a lot of help. And like Melissa said, even though we have a vet here now, we're still paying salaries and, and for medicines and supplies and everything else. So so we need that money and this, these are for our team and pass it. So, okay, Melissa will introduce our next one. This is Norman. And Norman came also from Manatee County with a broken leg. He had to be in a cast, which now you can see is off. Everything looks good. You can see he's got a few little wounds, probably from whatever happened, but he's doing well. He's a young guy, but he will soon be ready for adoption. He's about 19, 20 pounds. So he's one of our bigger guys, um, but keep an eye out for him. Or if you're interested, put in an application. Norman, yes. Oh, thank you. Norman's flirting with Melissa. I know, okay. He's so excited. He said, What's my future? Okay. What's my Again, future? we will consult the Zopar card. Zopar <laughs> speaks. So Norman wants to know what is in his future. So let's listen to what Zopar says. Yay. Aww. Hey, someone's going to find you. Yeah. See? Norman also has a brother, Rockwell, who is very similar looking, who doesn't have any injuries, and he will also be posted soon, too. So they're both ready. They're bigger guys. They're more like the 18 to 22 pound range. They're on our bigger side, but sweet boys looking for a great home. Right, buddy? Yay. Right, buddy? Get yeah. that, Norman Rockwell? Nor yeah, yeah. Woo! <laughs> Norman! Norman and Rockwell. Norman. He's cutie. So sweet. All right. That's our fortunes for Zoltar. Um, stay tuned. Well, not stay tuned. We're going to stop this video, but we've got more fun to come. We've got our pajama party. We've got our pizza party. We're going to take a couple dogs on a little train ride. We're going to try that. And uh, so we still have a lot of fun to come. Again, like I said, we have 19 more hours. So that's a lot of time for everybody to... To, to do their donations if you can possibly do it and again check us out online if you can't donate we know we understand people are in different situations. you can always come get slimed right you can always right. Come get slimed. you can come play with dogs if you'd like to please fill out a volunteer application we'd love to have more volunteers if you have some time a couple hours a week is all we ask for a couple hours every other week whatever you have it's great anything anything we can train you to to do whatever you'd like to do so um if you've got we particularly need towels from time to time, uh, bath towels, you know, big towels like that, because we go through those. Sometimes they just get ruined in an operation or, you know, tear, they get torn up, whatever. So if you have some extra towels lying around, if there's something else that you, uh, if there's something else that you think we might need, we just ask you to e email us first or something. So because some things we just don't need a lot of some other stuff. <laughs> um, so if you want to email us or text us or whatever and ask us if you could do something, that would be great. So anyway, stay tuned. We're going to take this guy back, give him a nap, and I'll be out here to play with some more dogs this week. Awesome. Okay, guys. So I want to remind you to go to their website or go to their Facebook page. Uh, Canine Castaways, Inc. is the name. You just search for that on Facebook. And you'll find them and you can like their website you can follow their website you can like their post um liking the post and sharing the post does a lot way more than you realize um if you share it you can use the hashtag hashtag giving challenge 2024 hashtag canine castaways hashtag be the one all right let's see what else i saw earlier today there is this the slime they did the slime challenge. This is funny. I'm going to play this. Now, Kim's the vet. She's in the middle, and her vet texts her on the outskirts. <laughs> so this is great. Oh, what did I just do? We have Gracie, and we have Dr. Pam, and we have Liz. And we have Melissa is going to be reading trivia questions for the girls. 
Okay, so what's going to happen is they're going to try to answer the question, but they're not going to know. If they get the question right, they might get slime. If they get the question wrong, they might get slime. <laughs> Nobody knows anything, they might get exactly. slime. Melissa is the slimer. So she will be, no, slimy, slimer. These are the slimies. Yeah, she's the slimer. She's the slimer. Okay, so we're about to, uh, we're about to start. Go ahead, Melissa. All right, first question. Who has more taste buds, dogs or humans? Gracie. Dogs. <laughs> Gracie says dogs. <laughs> Wrong. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay. Question number two. How is that, Gracie? Wait, wait. Listen, let's enjoy the moment for a second. How is that? Great. <laughs> okay, just check it. Right. Hey, Tracy Sprunger. Everybody, wave to Tracy. Hey, I got a really tough book, so. <laughs> well, if you, don't part, if you don't participate, you might get slimed. You know, you gotta, you never know. <laughs> I just wish we had the blue slime too. Well, that's okay. We're too much slime. Okay, since we did that. Okay. Perhaps we should have <laughs> Yeah, no, we would be sliming you. <laughs> Let's get that in slow motion. <laughs> we only have green and blue slime. You didn't raise your hand. I raised your hand. No, but somebody better raise <laughs> No slime in the camera person. <clears throat> you were supposed to give the um, information about the slime before. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. The slime, in case anybody's uh, worried, it's biodegradable, uh, non-hazardous, non-toxic, yada, yada, yada. It's everything. So we'll rinse off the participants plus the ground when we're done. But it won't harm any of our dogs, so don't worry. We know about our humans. <laughs> it won't hurt our dogs, so don't worry. <laughs> it's all good. Dodge. He's Dodge. He just got his little also non-toxic. Non-toxic, non -toxic, dog, dog friendly. Friendly. Little face. Was she the? <laughs> I think we're all here. Forty-five. We've got. Look, we look how much slime we have. Did she say it feels? <laughs> we got a 
tip for you. Don't go to a spa in Arcadia. <laughs> Everybody, Gracie wants to know if her hair is green. Oh my gosh. Uh -oh. Hi, Kathy Mahoney. Melissa is studying the book. Are you under there? How was that, Liz? This one you think it was... How was that, Gracie? <laughs> All right. Well, that was our uh, that was our safety slime of the day. Yeah, that was our slime the vet and her friends. So uh, best friends. Best friends. <laughs> Sorry, best friends. All right, we're gonna come back soon as the well. We might we might do this by ourselves. The slimers might be here. <laughs> we're next gonna just take a couple dogs out here, and we're gonna have their fortunes yeah. told. By and then train ride after that. Then train ride. I don't know what just happened. Hang on just a second. Where's that? Move that. Let's go back over to their site and see what. That was their slime challenge. Let's see what else they got going on. There's a picture of one of the babies right there. So cute. So don't forget to go to their Facebook page, please, and hit the like and subscribe. Or hit the like and subscribe. Hit the hit the um, follow button if you'd like. I don't know what they're doing right here, but they're just playing with the dogs. These are puppies that they just got in. They're so cute. This is a short video, but let me play it for you guys. Our two newest arrivals, with the exception of the part, the two Parvo puppies, Captain Sully and his sister Waffle. Check out Captain Sully's mustache. Well, you, you blinked, you missed it. He's gone. Dr. Pam, she's getting ready to be slimed. Carnival's a little slow right now. Look, look, up under. Come on, you can do it.
Waffle and Captain Sully. They're so cute. Look at her face. Look at that face. It's so precious. See, you guys, if people were more like dogs, there'd be less court cases to watch. <laughs> Am I right? All right, let me see what else videos we got here. I still want you guys to go over to their Facebook page, though, and like, and um, go go watch these, or go hit these posts and hit the like button for us. So cute. Okay, I, I wanted you guys to see this one. This was... They're going to show you a little bit about what they've been doing life. medically. So, we're here. We wanted to show you what real life, yes, behind the scenes, it's fun, and we do carnivals, and we get to play, and it looks like it's a big time. However, sometimes it's not always that way. And so, we're going to show you a little bit of real life. We also have a vet office, and this, Gracie and Liz, are at the moment taking care of a parvo pup. They are putting a catheter in, they need to get blood, they need to be able to get meds, because these dogs can get very, very sick very quick. They get dehydrated from vomiting, diarrhea, and if not taken care of and get in the right medical care, the unfortunate can happen. Um, this is a client dog, this is not one of our dogs, but where you can't see in the top Cage. We do have two parvos. They're doing well. We were able to get them treated, and they're not on the list yet, but hopefully soon that will be ready and put up for adoption. But this is this is real life. This is what we do every day. So this is why we're a little behind on sliming. We had to take care of this because parvo is an emergency. It's something that, if not taken care of quickly, can get very, very bad. So it's very important that we get the puppy taken care of and the meds that it needs as quickly as possible. So we'll go back. We're going to, this is, yep, we'll, this is just the real life. But here shortly, we'll go out. We're going to slime Dr. Pam, get some laughs, and then uh, we'll come back for this evening. I always wanted to be a vet, but I don't think I could handle the hard part of the hard part of it, which is seeing an animal in pain or even having to put an animal in pain in order to treat it, you know, like giving it shots or whatever. I just, I don't think I could ever do it. I'd love to be able to do it. I don't think I could though. Paco wants to talk to Zoltar over there. Paco. He's anxious to know what his future is. Aw. Cameraman, check out Paco and his circus tricks. And that's with a broken leg, by the way.
be very abstract. to laugh. Come here. She's calling the deaf dog and getting okay, frustrated. Here's when he's Fred, not who's deaf and old. He's like, I don't 18. know, 17, 18 yeah. years old. He would love a forever foster home. He does not really prefer to be groomed, so we have to do it very carefully, which is why he kind of looks a little raggedy. He does okay with most other dogs, but he really just wants a quiet little home that he could just lay on the couch, watch TV, Eat popcorn. Okay, maybe not popcorn, just treats. He's an old man. We would love if someone would want to forever foster him. We'll take care of the medical bills. You just love him till the end. But who knows? Could be several more years. Right? Well, he's been with us for how long? Two ish. I was thinking more like a year. Maybe a year and a half. I So if you're just joining in, you guys, 
I am running the stream in order to bring awareness to canine castaways and their giving challenge that's being run through uh, the giving partners. And they're, on, they're in Arcadia, Florida, doing all these crazy things. Yes, let's see. Yeah, yesterday and today up until noon. And the reason they're doing it is because, oh, look at that little thing. Look at that little thing. That is uh, one we saw earlier. Who is that? It doesn't say which one that is. Is there any? Oh, Oscar. This is Oscar. He's so cute. He was on the bed earlier when they were in the PJ thing. I'll probably loop this because I'd like to stay on stream as long as we possibly can. But I want to encourage everybody to go over their Facebook page too and hit the like button. Go through some of these videos and hit the like button. That's going to help them a lot. If you don't mind sharing it on your social media as well, that does a, a, a big, that makes a huge difference for them. Let's watch this one. They're going to tell us the names of the dogs. One. Here they come. out here right now um all of our posts that we're going to do today will have the link for the donations so remember everything up to a hundred dollars is matched by the patterson foundation thank you very much patterson foundation however you can donate whatever amount you would like um, <laughs> you have amount you would like but the don but the donation link will be on all of our posts it's uh something like canine castaways um giving challenge something but anyway we'll we'll make sure that you know a couple people have gone to the wrong link but it'll be it'll be on all our new posts here today so the plan here today after this first group is out here we'll get another group out and we'll have them do uh some other things we have a we have a zoltar fortune teller and we've got a truck that we're going to try to with a little train that we're going to try to ride dogs around on um we got a little pool over here, little lamps to try to do tricks. Um, anyway, we're just going to hope that you enjoy the day. We're just going to do a whole ton of short videos. <laughs> so cute. Um, Gittles is trying to get the trouble. the only one. Week, it starts today. And this is a group that I used to work with uh, when I was in Florida. If, if anything, like this is what I, I want to ask you guys, if you don't mind doing, it's called canine castaways and today and tomorrow from noon to noon, they're doing a giving challenge and the giving challenge. Basically what that means is that the giving, I forget the gift, the, there's a thing behind this where every donation is matched. And the reason I'm bringing this up to you guys is normally I wouldn't just bring any kind of. Um, nonprofit to you. You know, I've always been kind of like, I'll bring the, I brought some Waukesha stuff to y'all's attention. But this one is a, an organization that I personally worked with and I worked with pretty heavily for several years straight. And the woman that runs it is, she, I call her Wonder Woman. She's amazing. So they're live right now. If you guys feel like watching it with me for a few minutes, but I was going to put in the link for you guys if you want to go in and check out their stuff and the giving partner link and all that good stuff. I'll put that 
um, I'm going to put that in the comments while we're watching this video. So let me play this video for you guys. So this is, this tells you a little bit about the giving challenge. They're um, under Instagram. It's canine castaways and it's C-A-N-I-N-E castaways with an S at the end. C-A-S-T-A-W-A-Y-S. Their channel is Canine Castaways Inc. on Facebook. And they have that little logo to look for, the little blue logo. And it's a little doggy on a ship. It's so cute. So there's the link to the giving partners. And that's the link you would use if you want to make a donation. If you don't want to make a donation, I ask you to do something that doesn't cost you anything. And that's go to either Instagram or Facebook if you have one of those accounts. And just follow the group. Um, and share a link form or something. Share this. Share the the giving partner link on your social media because that does a lot too. That helps a lot too. And like I said, the only reason I'm bringing this up is because I worked with this organization. I know they're legit. I know they're 100% volunteer. Kim's sister, Kim, is the one that runs it. Her younger sister is a vet, and so they partner together and they're starting to do um, vet care for people that, especially like seniors, that want to take in a dog but they can't afford the vet care. So they're working out programs for that. So it's going to help place a lot of dogs. And it's also going to help people that don't make a lot of money still have a, a, a loving companion. Because I've always said this, dogs save us more than we save them, in my opinion. And, and I know in my life they have. So if you have any questions about them, you're welcome to send me an email. My email's in the description down below. So thank you for your consideration, you guys. I appreciate you. And y'all have a very blessed day. Okay, give me just a second. I'm downloading another video I would like to show you all. And if you guys have any questions at all about rescue groups, you know, I know not everybody is in the area where this organization is, but if you have a need to want to do something with rescue and help or to rescue a dog or a cat or anything, and you just have questions about anything on it, you can email me and I'll be happy to help you out on it. Oh, Rosebud said, Betsy, she just got Betsy a Jack Russell Terrier, and she is crazy. I bet. Oh, my gosh. That Jack Russells, those are the most hyper breed. So she's a rescue from a holler in Kentucky. Her master died, and she found her Everybody way here in Wisconsin. Welcome to the Giving Challenge with Canine Castaways and our Canine Carnival. We're coming to you a few minutes early, five minutes at 12, because right at noon, the giving starts. And we're going to try to win the prize for Fast 50. That's the, of all the groups that are participating in this challenge, the first 50 that get 50 donors get an extra bonus prize. So we're going to try for that prize. And um, if you've been following our posts, we're going to have Zoltar, and we're going to have tricks, and we're going to have a lot of fun with our dogs. So you get to see a lot of our dogs today and tomorrow. We're going to do a lot of events. We're going to have a breakfast tomorrow morning. We're going to do a whole bunch of stuff. Sliming later on today. So please tune in. Right now we're going to stop our video because we, volunteers here, want to all do our, our donations right at 12 o'clock so we can get that 50. But you can give throughout the 24 hours. If you can't do it now, that's fine. If you want to give now and you want to give later, that's fine. You can give 12 times if you want to. We don't care. Um, but any, any donation up to $100 is matched by the Patterson Foundation. So thank you so much to the Patterson Foundation. And we just had a, we got a lot of wind, so we might have a little bit fixing to do it today. Anyway, so go, go, go. Please tune in today to our videos. Please share them. Um, spread the word so we could, this is a very, very important fundraiser for us. And we'll talk about throughout the day today what our goals are and what we want to do with the funds that we raise today. So thank you for tuning in and we will be back soon. Okay. And just so you guys know, these ladies are not crazy. <laughs> They're dressed up. They're trying to um, do, make as much as they can out of this, this short period of time that they've got to raise these funds because all the donations of $100 or less are being matched between noon today on April the 9th, Tuesday, and Wednesday, April the 10th at noon. So if you can, if you have it, uh, $5, $5 turns into 10 $1 turns into 2 guys. So I appreciate you so much for taking some time. And um, these women do so much for these animals, and it's not for the women. It's for these babies. I love these babies. I miss them so much. I miss working with rescue so much. So I'm trying to do my part and just get the word out for them. So if you do anything at all, you can share this video. If you can't make a donation, that's fine. 
share the giving link. Make sure that you donate through that giving link, though, and not directly on the website because that giving link is the one that's going to match the, do the donations because it's through a, uh, the giving – oh, what's it called? The gifting something. or It's, a, it's an organization that helps nonprofits. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to be posting stuff randomly all today. Please um, – if you don't want to watch them, that's fine. You can skip them. Please don't unsubscribe. This is just for a one-day thing that I'm trying to support the animals. I appreciate your time, and God bless. Hi, everyone. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. I'm trying something out here. I'm doing a different style of recording. Um, wanted to let you guys know about Canine Castaways Incorporated. They're based out of Arcadia, Florida, which is based – it's like center. It's below Orlando. They're – huge organization well they're not really that huge they've just had a ton of volunteers and they pull dogs from shelters kill shelters and they save their lives and many of them come in and need a lot of medical stuff and they take the time to make sure that these dogs are appropriately taken care of i i can't say good enough good things about them y'all they're just they're wonderful wonderful people uh the woman who runs it she the things that she does she leaves before she goes to work in the morning she goes to the shelter and does what she needs to do with the dogs that aren't in her home she's got a ton of them in her home but she goes over to the shelter and she does that and then she at lunchtime she comes and she checks on the dogs and does whatever she have to do, has to do there and then on every time she goes when she gets home from work she goes first thing she does is go to the shelter before she goes home and she takes care of all the dogs and she spends most of the night at the shelter before she goes home to her poor husband who is wonderful too because he helps with everything and then all of her vacation time, I don't think, I, since I've known her, I, I, I think the only time she's ever taken off for herself was when they had, like, an emergency in the family or something. It's always for the animals. So um, the giving challenge that they're doing in 2024 basically matches all donations. And that's the only reason that I'm bringing this to you guys today is because between noon today and noon um, Wednesday, April the 10th, all donations that are made will be matched through the giving partners. So I'm going to attach the link so that you guys use that link. I'm not going to attach their website or their Facebook page or anything because I don't want you to be confused on which link to use to make the donation. But once you get in here into the giving partners page, you'll be able to scroll down and get the different links to their Facebook and whatnot. Uh, their website also is on here. So, <clears throat> excuse me, so you can go directly to it as well. But you, this is the link that, that's going to be, they're going to use to match the donations. And so I thought, hey, I'm going to donate too. So let me do that right now. Why isn't it coming up? There it is. All right. Oh, wow. They've already got 61 donors. That's amazing. All right, I can do 50. And again, if you can't do anything, don't worry about it. I don't want to, okay, I'm going to stop here because I've got to do my payment information. But if you can't do anything, don't worry about it. Um, there's other ways that you can support. Their Facebook page right now, I don't know who this lady is. This is one of their volunteers. Um, on their Facebook page, which is under Canine Castaways Incorporated, and look for this little logo because uh, many states, I think there's several Canine Castaways rescue groups um, with that name. So you want to go to the one that's got the little logo with the little, um, it's got a little doggy on a little ship right there. See it? And they, yeah, they use a lot of green and blues in their stuff. And then you can watch the videos. Oh, look. Let's see what's in here. Look at the tails. The big brown one. Oh. It's like honey bone, right? Yeah. So this is Ginger, who you just saw. And then Lulu is right here. Look how happy Lulu they are. This is the puppy. This is Darla. This is Sweet Darla. Darla. Lulu. Okay, so I just want to say something. Do you see how happy these dogs are? This is the difference between dogs that are in a shelter versus dogs that are in a foster home and being taken care of by humans that are, like, 
well, not that people at the shelters aren't human. They are. They just can't, they have way more than they can handle. This is where these are organizations that have, you know, a foster parent might only have one at the least to, um, you know, five dogs that they're fostering for the organization. They don't have to foster that many, but some of them fall in love and do. Some of them have their own dogs and the foster dogs. But do you see how happy these dogs are? They're in a wonderful environment. Let me see if Facebook's going to face Facebook invite my butt because I don't care. Yeah, they do a lot of chihuahuas. So the first thing we're going to do is just try to give oh them some God. treats. <laughs> Oscar's got it. We're going to give them some treats. We're going to make them some snow cones. And we're going to hopefully make them do a couple of tricks here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Find a trick. posts that we're going to do today will have the link for the donations. So remember, everything up to $100 is matched by the Patterson Foundation. Thank you very much, Patterson Foundation. However, you can donate whatever amount you would like. Um, <laughs> you have amount you would like, but the, but the donation link will be on all of our posts. It's uh, something like Canine Catchways, um, Giving challenge, something. But anyway, we'll we'll make sure that you know. A couple people have gone to the wrong link, but it'll be it'll be on all our new posts here today. So the plan here today, after this first group is out here, <laughs> we'll get another group out and we'll have them do uh, some other things. We have a we have a Zoltar fortune teller, and we've got a truck that we're going to try to with a little train that we're going to try to ride dogs around on. Um, we got a little try to do tricks. Um, anyway, Look at the little thing. You enjoy the day. We're just going to do a whole ton of short videos. <laughs> what are they doing? They've got those little things they're giving them the treats with. Yeah, they're all available for adoption, you guys. These little beauties. The other thing too is when you get when you rescue a dog from a rescue organization, well, when you adopt from a rescue organization. You are rescuing a dog, uh, but you're part of that rescue process. But you're also, you're getting not just a dog that comes out of a shelter that has no history. You're going to receive from that foster parent any kind of information that they have on the dog. And a lot, many, many times, that's going to help so much with the process because you're talking about, can this pet be trusted with cats? Can this pet be trusted with children? I mean, every household is different. Um, can this pet be around other other dogs? So there's there's all these little things that you're going to find out from the foster mom and dad that you wouldn't find out just getting a dog from a shelter or paying way too much for an overbred dog that's going to have such humongous medical problems in you know in at a young age. These are Guys, these are dogs that some of them are mutts and some of them are full bred. I have seen some some beautiful full bred animals come through rescue, and it blows my mind the people that give them up. Sometimes people that just aren't true dog lovers end up with a dog and they just they can't do anything else with it. Sometimes people get an animal and they pass away, or someone in the family passes away. Um, you know, we used to get all the time. Dogs will be put up for adoption or, or brought to our rescue organization because. They, they were allergic or someone in their family was allergic. Um, the other thing we got a lot was, oh, well, my wife's pregnant. We're going to have a baby. We don't think it's a good idea to have a dog in the house, So, which I think is dumb. But, you know, to each their own. It's your kid, not mine. But the dogs, they come to you already happy. And if there are any problems, any training problems, you're told about the, the cons with this dog, with the dogs as well. 
and you spend time with the dog. And this rescue organization right here, they're not going to let anybody just come in and take a dog. They're going to go to your home and do a, what they call a home visit prior to approving uh, your adoption. So one of their volunteers actually meets you at, their, at your home, and they just kind of sit with you, talk about, you know, your current pets, your situation. They check your yard because you might have a dog. We might have a dog that we know. I say we because I used to work with them. You know, you, you got a dog that you know has energy, and it needs a ton of exercise. Well, I'm not going to put that dog in a home that doesn't have a, a gated backyard where it can run around or a, a parent that's going to go jogging with it every day or a parent that's going to take it to the dog park every day and spend time with it. So that's not a good fit. And the rescue organizations help you find dogs that, yeah, you can fall in love with a dog or the look of a dog or the personality of a dog, but they're also going to teach you about the different traits of different breeds and how it fits with your family because not every dog is the perfect fit. And so many people just, it's not that they don't, they just don't know. It's because they don't think about it that far. Um, another thing too, if you're one of those people that has nowhere to leave your fortune after you're gone, I know this sounds morbid, but if you have a life insurance policy and you have no family members to leave it to, consider leaving your life insurance or your your estate whatever it could be to an organization like this that if you if you're a, an animal lover that an organization like this is considered so many times you'll hear people say well I left it to this or I left it to that you know and it's some of them are charity organizations but these little small rescue groups that struggle so hard um, with help and with funds they never get considered so again the only reason I'm showing this through my YouTube channel is because I believe in this group because I've worked with them. I absolutely love the lady who runs the organization. She's an amazing woman. Um, I called her Wonder Woman because she works so flipping hard. Oh, oh they're giving them ice. What's the is that Lori? I think that's Lori oh, behind there. Y'all gotta get him a bunch of cups. I'm sorry the quality of the video is so bad. That's my that's me guys. I have horrible internet here. So you guys, these are high energy dogs, obviously. Even though some of them are chihuahuas. Like, but the don't but the donation link will be on all of our posts 
It's uh, something like canine catchways, um, giving challenge, something. But anyway, we'll, we'll make sure that you know. A couple people have gone to the wrong link, but it'll be, it'll be on all our new posts here today. So the plan here today after this first group is out here, we'll get another group out and we'll have them do uh, some other things. We have a, we have a Zoltar fortune teller and we've got a truck that we're going to try to, with a little train that we're going to try to ride dogs around on. Um, we've got a little pool over here, little lamps to try to do tricks. Um, anyway, we're just going to hope that you enjoy the day. We're just going to do a whole ton of short videos. about any of these dogs out here just post them on a on the um, video that you're watching and uh, we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can we're going to be pretty busy today but we'll do the best we can to uh to answer all the questions within the next couple days they're all ready to be adopted all need to, to find their their um, their real homes again if you have any questions just let us know but all these guys out here as you can see they all get along with each other all friendly. So we have our first snow cone. We have our first snow cone uh, make over here. Oh. Let's see. Let's see what What's the flavor in these? Does it have we a have a very special flavor. Very special flavor. It's a it's secret. Broth. It's in a secret recipe. It's a very secret canine castaway recipe. Ooh, Let's okay. see what everybody Sometimes thinks. Really like Who it. wants to start? Lulu. Oh. get another one out here, Will. Very quick. Here, is it? Ginger wants to try. Dodge is still working on the, well, now he's interested in the snow cone, right, I guess. Look, Lulu's going to take that. Yeah. <laughs> Lulu is not food motivated at all. <laughs> she does not love food and everything that has to do with food. And this is her sister, Zulu, right next to her. They're both puppies about to find them the right home. They've been with us for a little bit. We need to, we need to uh, get them home. for somebody to have fun with. Yeah, for sure. They Zula are. and Zula, or if you want to do um, agility, oh, they yeah. would easily get it. <laughs> or, <laughs> or if you love snow cones. It's a little bit warmer than we would like out here today, <laughs> so we're not going to have dogs out for a real long time. Hey, Doc, you want to try? But yeah. hopefully we'll get... Hopefully we'll get, uh, no, you've already had. Hopefully we'll get everybody that we have, or most dogs that we have pieces for you so you can see, see lots of dogs here. But again, we have lots of events. We're going to have Slime the Vex, Slime the Vex Vex. Uh, we're going to have oh. a little pajama party oh. tonight, a little pizza party, a little movie night, um, all those no, fun things. Lulu. <laughs> so again, just we're hoping you'll tune in. Hey, the good news is it also has ashwagandha and all sorts of other stuff in it. So. Maybe it will help her. Hey, 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 hey. We don't know any disagreement Ginger out says here. No, no, no. Everybody does. Darla, you want to try it? Come here, Darla. Come here, Darla. Come here, Darla. She doesn't like it. Come here, Darla. No. Oh, I thought now we wanted to get together. I wanted to get this for sure. This is Darla. This is Darla. Here, I don't need my microphone because it does a little thing. Um, this is Darla and Spice. Spice, if you're watching from dog camp today, my dogs are at camp. How would you like? I know Pumpkin, you'd be okay. But Spice, what do you think about Darla? Huh? What do you think? I think she's pretty cute, Spice. Is Spice watching? Spice might be watching. Yeah. So I'd have to get Spice and Pumpkin approval, but I don't know. Maybe we're getting. Uh, we're getting kind of attached to little Darla here. She's a sweetheart. She's a very sweet dog. We're hoping that she'll find a home. Even if it's not with my pumpkin and spice. But she's a sweetheart. She's just, she want, as you can see, she likes to be carried around. She's not interested in this. No? Nobody wants my pumpkin. No. I know. I don't want that. Here. 
All dogs are spayed and neutered prior to being adopted out. They've got a full vet exam. They're up to date on all their vaccines. Yeah. Okay, this little, we're going to put this little group back in. It is warm out here today, a little bit warmer than we hoped. So we're going to put this group back in and uh, be back with you guys in, you know, a little bit for our next group of dogs and maybe some different things. Maybe we'll do some tricks and stuff with them. Okay, so, so watch for our next video. Thanks. Thanks. He ended up getting it out. Big shout out to Kim Rinaldi and all my peeps in Florida that are still doing this. I love you guys so much. And uh, oh, I almost want to cry. I miss y'all so much. Hey, Laura. Hey, Lori. It's good to see all you guys. Hey, Barb. I hope I didn't miss anybody. Um, um, Y'all be good. And uh, I'm going to try to do as much as I can to get the word out for you guys on this giving challenge this week, okay? I love y'all. Well, Tony is at Bagel 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 um, Wally. That's Bagel and Wally. Um, a little Mishka is a little she's taken. She's a, one of our... Uh, she's a former canine castaway. Right, former canine castaway, but she's an uh, employee dog, so she's she's taken. Um, the little shy guy over there, that's Mishka. That's uh, right. Bagel right. again. Right. The little black fuzzy dog that's a little bit shy is Lusta. and this guy right here Frazier. is Frazier. I'm going to pause it for just a minute because my internet's acting up so I'm going to close out some streams Let's see if that helps any I don't know if it will oh, oh and Hermie, Hermie. Hermie is a hider. He's the the uh, brown and white fuzzy dog over there. Hermie, Hermie has his way. Hermie races around the yard. And Hermie has issues. Bless his heart. He was from a courting situation, and they said that he was in crate a crate most of his life. Um. Okay. So here's what we're going to do at 7 a.m. Central Time, which is 8 a.m. Eastern Time. They're going to have another breakfast thing over at the Facebook page, which is at Canine Castaways, Inc. So if you go into Facebook and you search Canine Castaways, Inc., please go in and like that, uh, that, that post. Make a quick comment. I don't care what you say. Just be nice. And uh, when people comment on their breakfast post, then... They willing to pay a 500 make a 500 dollar donation towards the organization so that would help them a lot with that also if you don't mind sharing uh not don't share my link i mean you can i guess it's still all good but um I want you to share their facebook page or their facebook posts and help us get the word out because we only have until noon eastern time today before the giving challenge is over and during the giving challenge anything under five eh, Anything under a hundred dollar donation is being matched, and also, what was I going to say? One last thing I was going to tell you guys. Um. Oh, I forgot already. I I need rest. Okay, eight a.m. Central Time. Uh. No, eight a.m. Eastern Time. Seven a.m. Central Time. I'll see y'all on Facebook. Thanks, everyone.